It's Friday. Welcome, everyone, to an awesome day. So it's uh, where we're doing FileMaker training. Nick is here. Nick, I'm going to make Nick a little bigger. And so it's open question day. Um, I want to take care of some housekeeping first, right? So we are playing with the, the broadcast here. We want to welcome Michael Gravo and uh, Tawa, I guess, from New Zealand. I don't even know how to spell that. And then... Uh, and then interested in obtaining the free files, I don't have much time. So this is pound, four pounder. So whoever four pounder is, that sounds like uh, a porn star. Four pounder is on YouTube. Uh, we don't want your name to be known, but you're four pounder. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. All right, so uh, I'm gonna post the uh, sample files here. Uh, four pounder only has a limited amount of time. So we have to stop everything and give four pounder the information. Here we go. So here's here's sample file one. And then Nick is going to, we're going to have the other one here shortly. When you people put crazy names in, I'm going to repeat your names to you. So four pounder. There's the second one. And then let me put them over here on, actually, I'm going to let TK handle that for me. TK, if you can be uh, the appropriate level person for uh, Twitch and po cross post that stuff would be really so I just took care of YouTube oh it's freaking out because I can't post that much stuff in YouTube all right so what we did is uh, we have the sample file from yesterday we have open Q&A so this is fmtrain.tv where we do great FileMaker training ad hoc live drumsticks music pianos harpsichords whatever the hell Nick just bought put in his living room as some sort of piano we harpsichord thingy uh, real quick, upcoming broadcast schedule, really important. So um, it doesn't show a Tuesday on here because my team is, uh, David Castillo is malfunctioning. Let me see. Do we have, uh, David, did you do anything for me yet? David Castillo. Did you put a picture here for me? <gasps> that really sucks, David. You know, it needs to be much more inspiring than that, right? Right? So th this is my art guy's artwork for the day. Oh my God. <sighs> all right, F minus on the artwork department. Uh, all right, I know he didn't have a lot of time, it's, but not very inspired. So uh, today is open, kind of open line question, open Q&A day with sample file. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, we've kind of cleared out the schedule. Next week is a, a, a very serious server conversation. It'll be myself and Jacob Taylor, and Nick is going to kind of play, probably ride shotgun as the supervising adult in the meeting. Um, Jacob Taylor is one of the smartest people I know on server. Probably him and Wim Decor and a couple people that I know are just excellent. And all they do is server. Although Wim does more than just server. Wim is more interested in enterprise server. Like, if you don't have at least 100 users connected to it, I don't think he cares. But because all, cause whenever you see him talking, all he's talking about is Active Directory on Windows, right? Um, meanwhile, the vast majority of FileMaker deployments are uh, like 15 users or less, right? So it's really kind of funny. So um, anyway... Uh, so we're going to be doing that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So Monday, we're going to be talking server 19.1.2. Um, we're going to be going through some performance c considerations of it, what it does, what it doesn't do. There's a, it's a fairly long, involved conversation. I have no idea how long it'll actually take. So what I did is I cleared Nick. Nick doesn't even notice that. He, Nick has been canceled out. He's almost non-existent next week. I think there's one day for Nick next week. Uh, Tuesday is going to continue the server conversation, right? Um, <laughs> I love the artwork over here. We got the, uh, the, 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 the Linux penguins. Oh, my God, that's great. I, I love the artwork. So uh, let me see if I can drag that over here. That is very – I, I love the Madagascar penguins. They were always the best. So anyway, so we're going to have a lot more uh, penguin action going on here, right, next week. Um, <laughs> uh, that made my day. That, David Cast, you get a gold star for that one. So anyway um, – Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is going to be server stuff. Then Nick is going to be uh, wrecking things on Thursday the 5th. The uh, Git, layout, Git container attributes uh, session has been uh, kicked down the road. I don't know how far it's going to bounce. And then once again, we have Friday with the dead bird and sample Friday, Friday. And then uh, Christian Olson comes back next week. Uh, he's learning how to uh, do virtual bars with adult beverages. Um, some sort of improved thing he's doing. I don't know. So whatever, he's... Uh, He's done presentations. I don't know if it's an add-on module or not, but he's got several days on that. So, so that's advanced content there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is server advanced. So it's not about how to make a lean design per se. 
it's uh, how to deal with the server on the server conversation, which is always important because the server can wreck your life badly if it's not doing what it's supposed to do. So that's kind of your preview. Uh, once again, fmtrain.tv is how you get there, and then you can press the Live tab if you want. Once again, reminder, if you want to help support the channel, uh, we really appreciate all the people here, a whole bunch of people here. The Sheelys are here, Brutterman's here, Kibera, Dirk is there. We're going to talk about Dirk in a second. We got Ed, Elza, Bob, Foxy, Jack, Gadidi, Jay Dripper, Jake Sheely, another Sheely, Jericho, John Haggerty, Ken, a.k.a. Frank. I'm not sure why Frank is Frank. Mikey from New Zealand, I think is where he said he's from. You folks, make sure you feel free to let us know where you're from. Um, of course, Michael Gravo, Barry, Maskell, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, of course, Barry's there on YouTube. Uh, that's This is, if you buy the training, is how we support the channel. Once again, I mentioned that. Um, I, I bet, we're not going to run a lot of advertisements in flight here, but this is your big uh, uh, promotional. Please support the channel. If you're looking for a two-year subscription, there is a two-year subscription for $349. So it's either good for you. It comes with FileMaker, which is great, for one person. And then it's one year, or you can get a two-year option, or two people for one year so either way you can switch hit with us kind of cool so um so yeah lots going on um and then of course we got trixie there net lobster scott kane scott another scott scott henderson Sven, the afferlund who uh is stealthily being heidi and then aka uh, tk is there uh so it's very exciting um and tomorrow is the end of the month and Trixie, welcome Trixie. Uh, once again, glad you're here. In fact, uh, some of you have uh, questions at some point or uh, suggestions on broadcast. I got, I got your emails. A bunch of you have sent those to me. I really appreciate it. So, um, so let's dive in today. So, Nick, partly you're here just because we have open questions and we want to answer those questions today. We want to take a look at Dirk's. Now, I want to be very clear. Dirk has sent us files. We're not going to poke holes at Dirk. I actually probably prefer Dirk's technique over Nick's technique. It's not because I love Dirk more than Nick or I hate Nick or anything like that. Is it when any, anything you do in FileMaker, you have to do what works for you. There's always five or ten ways to solve it, any problem. Nick, you want to show your screen and talk about this a yeah. little bit? I, actually, I want to go straight. Okay, I don't, like you said, uh, I agree with you. Uh, I will, for example, personally, I will never pass underneath a ladder. You know, you have a ladder like yeah, that. Yeah, you never walk underneath, underneath it, yeah, yeah. Never. Okay, so you can, you can, with your feelings, you have a, uh, uh, it's, we, emotions, France, emotions, we, emotions. Okay, yeah. In France, we have a we have a, a, a terminology for that, a, a chapel a talk. Okay, I'm going to my church. You, my church is better than yours. I, you know, so it's I don't I don't handle this. What I want to to say here is that this technique here is almost unpisosable. That means very hard to get to work on pisoses. Okay, so perform script on servers so first. Secondly, there's something you have absolutely no control on, and I'm going to explain what it is right now, and then we, I, I, I'm not going to, to explain more. Here are the problem. Okay. Most of the, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay, Important yeah. part, yeah, because okay. we can't, so we all see your and, smiley face. And, and that is a huge, huge, huge problem that the technique I'm using totally resolve in a snap. Uh, when you are duplicating this, most of the time in the table you are duplicating the items. You have a, a bunch of, of a bunch of lookups, a bunch of auto entry calculations, a bunch of stuff that gets updated when you create a new record. So when you duplicate a record, duplicating a record is not creating a new record from scratch. Duplicate, I mean, it's not a duplication of the data. When you duplicate a record, you are activating the auto entry calculation and the lookup. That means when you duplicate a record, maybe depending on your auto entry calculation, you will get another, another, another uh, result because you are activating the auto entry calculation. So when you duplicate records, you cannot say duplicate records but ignore the auto entry calculation now 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 when you use my technique okay uh and uh because i am using the import dialog right 
I yeah. have this guy here where FileMaker followed 100% of my recommendations <laughs> that you can choose, you can choose what, whatever field you want to do, the lookups, the timestamp modification, the creation timestamp, the sale numbers, all of those things are not going to be performed when you import data. When you duplicate, you have a new sale number, you have a new creation timestamp, you have a new modification timestamp, you have a new lookups, you have a new auto-entry calculation, and you have absolutely no control on this. With import dialog, I have a, a, a copy, a clone of the record. Yeah, you know, so I'm gonna, that, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm, I, I am gonna, I, I am going to award a point here to Nick because the auto that 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 change is a change in the behavior. Once again, 30 years of doing it one way, and then suddenly in the last year and a half, it's a different way, right? And so you have yeah. to. But I have this in, in, inherent bias against the import dialogue. I am I am probably tainted for life, Nick, to some degree here, and I'm not yeah, being but, a. Yeah, I know I got to grow up and learn and be a big boy and put on my pants, right? I'm just saying that you know it's um, yeah. My my, my my I'm doing therapy with you. I'll do a therapy session. <laughs> therapy, okay. Th I, I, therapy session, okay. Maybe that's what we all need. So we're all gonna lay down. Uh, and Nick is gonna give us therapy because the import dialogue has sucked. Actually, yeah, but it, for so also, for so long. So celebrate with me. Celebrate with me. Uh, viva the import dialogue. Viva import dialogue. <laughs> right. So, all right. Anyone questions? Hello from Bizbrain. Hey, Pete. Uh, Pete. Pete. Uh, Pete yourself self-deprecating, Pete. Uh, I hate saying Pete Brain Pete because it sounds like I'm insulting you. Pete Brain Pete, get a brain. What are you doing? Right. So, uh, yeah. So, um, four pounder dead fish. <laughs> four pounder. Oh yeah, it could be a four pounder. Well, I was. Yeah. So four pounder. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, so that's a good question. So, like I said, my default style would have been, t I like I like to very verbosely code my scripts. Once again, I am not, I don't code every day anymore. I don't get to do that. I get to code about 30 or 40 minutes a day, which is it, which is too bad. Um, but I would probably have gone down the Dirk way. And, I, and once again, Nick challenges our self-conceptions of how to do stuff. I'm not saying Nick is right, but I think it's worthy of pointing out that he was right about the auto enter. They added that. That's the one thing in that, that dialogue that's really unique that you didn't have. Because it's selective. You could turn them all. Couldn't you do it all the auto enters off before you could do it either all off or all on? But now you kind of selectively activate them. Right, Nick? Yes, you can select... Which which field you want to be activated? Mm. Uh, but before before I was using the import dialog for, to duplicate for duplication because I want none of them to be activated most of the time. Ninety nine percent of the time when I say okay import, I'm checking the the full the full button that I want them all off. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I like what Dirk, Dirk has put a file out there. Um, I My default behavior would have been to code it the way Dirk did. Um, I think it's eye-opening to see more than one way of doing it. That's why we put these things out there. Dirk sounds like a very talented developer out there. Are you in Germany? Is that where he's at? I, I missed a little block of text there. He put some information in there. Whoa. J-Dripper got... Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Dripper posted. Okay, hang on. I got to show this. I really wish that while we're doing the broadcast, you guys could see, everyone could see the feed over here on the side because it's really quite uh, good. So if you come over here to the feed uh, on the side over here, there's all this artwork and animation that's going on. And, uh, and where where is the one from Jay Dripper here? Uh, I was laughing. This one right here. I saw this. <laughs> the cute little... Uh, <laughs> off with the head, right? You know, it kills me. So, uh, <laughs> no adjudication. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I, I'm I'm originally from France. <laughs> I will pass on this one. Which one? You pass <laughs> on that one? Oh, yeah, on the beheading thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the guillotine, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. So uh, No, yeah. because of the news. Anyway, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so, 
All right. Well, uh, we had that question that came up. So, Dirk, thank you for submitting. When you folks have ideas, different techniques, um, once again, you're going to find different people like different things. Um, and so my general focus has been towards ne next week with these servers, getting them tested, looking at what other people are saying about them, uh, what Clarice is saying about them. And I got Jacob Taylor in there working with us. So it should be pretty action-packed next week. Do we have other questions that came out? Hopefully... Um, I have users in seven locations with no standard printers. How do I script a print button that is generic? Oh, yeah, that's easy. Okay, well, so easy that Ed has no idea. So, Ed, don't take it personal, but Nick says it's really easy and you should know how to do it. <clears throat> so, Nick, you want to answer Ed's question? Yeah, question. yeah, so I can, I can show this. I mean, it's easy. Uh, it's, you know, yeah, it's, it's not... When you know it is easy, everything is easy. <laughs> yeah, when you know it. <laughs> my cord so, is getting wrapped around myself here. All right, here we go. Go yeah, ahead. So when, when you do this, uh, so you see my screen, you set the, um, uh, what's the name, the printer, uh, how, how you call that? I never use that anymore. The set, or, oh, this one, this guy, the page setup. Okay. okay. Uh, page setup. Where is this? Set, page setup, prints. Uh, how we call this? Okay, print setup. Oh, shit. Okay, so uh, so here, what you do here, okay, you select the, any printer, right? But you need at least to select one, uh, what's the name? One, so you select the, any printer. You don't select one of this. Okay, so uh, when you do this, uh, the format select any printer, it does a generic 11 inches by 8 by 50. Okay, so now uh, if you have uh, different countries and you have, for example, in France, in Europe, it's A4. Okay, um, uh, in the US, it's a US letter. Okay, so uh, in, 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 uh, in England, they have another. Uh, they have a tabloid or whatever they have. I don't know what they have. Okay, so you can you can select you can create multiple uh, you can create a field where you can ask which format they want. You know, like that's why in all my in all my development you have a kind of a, a system a system table uh, where you can or a user table a preference user table. Let's say I'm a user of this of this solution and as a, this user. Uh, I have a I have a printer that is on A4. So in that case, uh, you have if whatever the name of the of the field, you know, na name of the field of the of the global field, okay, uh, name of the global field. If name of the global field is say okay, uh, print setup uh, with uh, here you say for A4, okay, uh, A4. So and then uh, so if field setup equal uh, you know, equal uh, A4, uh, A4. Okay, you do this, right? Uh, A4. Uh, and then you say else if, okay, and uh, you say uh, the what is them the global field is uh, uh, US, okay? Uh, you 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 put oh sorry, you put this one. So you have one is the it will it will and you say restore, okay? Restore. And you say US. So this one will be A4. This one will be US. And then you have, but you and you click any printer, any printer. Or what you can do, like I'm doing that most of the time. I have in my system a, a dummy kind of a printer. I created a printer uh, that I call select your printer. That's it's a generic PostScript printer. So you create a new printer with it's a generic, and you call select your printer. Uh, and then uh, you you can you can select this one here. See when you select this one, select your printer. It's a generic printer. Uh, so it's uh, you have multiple ways to do that. Uh, but here you have a generic. Uh, I, I don't know if that answers the question. Um, uh, I don't know if this quick answer it might need a session when I have to a drop down menu uh, or pop up menu. And there are hundreds of records. 
in the list how can i use type ahead or arrow no you can't type ahead okay you can yeah okay a drop down menu you can do that okay let me explain how the drop down menu works okay let's say i have a drop down menu here and i have a, a lot of records okay uh how many records do i have here 44 uh, okay that's enough so let's say i have a drop down menu here right and uh i'm going here drop down menu and i want for example i want all the you know all all the account name uh you know all the account name of the of the list okay so uh here i have a drop down menu and i have all the account names so you have you have something like this right you have a, a something like that uh so if you don't if you click here and you say auto complete using auto complete using the 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 value list uh you don't have when you click you have this but if you click a new record you have this okay so so when you say n so do i have a do i have one that start with the less same letter no i don't uh so let's say I'm, i have a cursus one right and and i have cursus two for example okay so now i create a new one and i, I click here and i say cursus so see is doing this is uh, is showing you only the one starting with C U R. So I don't know if that answer your question. Who was that? Uh, uh, that was Ed, I think, or was that just John Haggerty? Oh, John Haggerty, yeah. Okay. Is uh, answering? Yeah, okay. he says yes. Yeah, so that's good. All right. So yeah. So you click. So if you don't want to be bothered, you can also say include the arrow in the in the list. So that means when you click here, you say curse. Right, and, and then you can click on the arrow. Or you, oh, okay. Here, how I'm using this. So the, maybe that you guys you don't know that, but I'm going to explain to you. Let's say I'm typing curse, and it, it came it came with curse like this. Okay, then I hit escape key and I have all the curse. Mm. So see, because it doesn't bo it doesn't bother you uh, when you have this when you don't have the the arrow. It, it comes always. It comes bam like this and you type and you have this so if you have a like you said if you have let's say a thousand and thousand and thousand and thousand records uh it pops on you and and, and sometimes even you have the, the spinning wheels right so you click with the arrow so the escape key is doing exactly what the arrow key is doing okay click on the arrow or clicking escape 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 you see escape sorry escape see you click escape like that it toggle but when you click curse for example let's say uh, let's say i'm saying I'm, I'm tapping curse okay i'm tapping this and i want all the cure i want to show them escape bam and then i can select one bam right so you can you can click on those two uh, when you have a lot of records, you click on those two. Yeah. So next uh, question. Do you have a question over there? Or, uh, no, maybe, I, yeah, uh, there are some questions. I need to kind of bounce around. You can go back to uh, John Haggerty here in a second. Um, so uh, I want to welcome the YouTube folks. Uh, we've got Michael Gravel and Barry Meskel. And, uh, and yeah, Barry, if you're looking for a discount on the training, uh, just send me an email or I can try to post the link here before the end of the day. Uh, we do have those uh those uh, discounts uh peter boyce from brisbane welcome peter i do re have to reply to your email i'm just trying to figure out about budget and things like that um and then of course there's a question here about claire's connect so this is uh the question about is do we have claire's connect training um we have talked about claire's connect a little bit um it's kind of an uh, interesting topic. Uh, every time I bring it up, there seems to be a general lack of enthusiasm for it um, by the development community, by even by you folks here. We did it for a couple days with Calvin, and mostly it was an exercise in what it wouldn't do because it, it, there's limited hooks to it. Um, uh, I'm assuming there's MailChimp integration for it. We don't have training on it, mostly because I don't want to invest the money well, let's start off with the fact that Claris hasn't talked to me about doing training videos yet for it. Um, I guess maybe uh, productive computing or someone will do training videos for it. Um, 
But uh, I try to do the training videos on the high traffic topics, things like that. Um, I think Claire's Connect someday will be, for whatever reason, more interesting. Um, but I had a meeting with senior developers the other day, and, 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 and no one really is using it. Um, uh, but it, it, it can work under the right situation. Um, it's just not a good fit for everyone. And so uh, we had a we had two-day training session on the, the in the live stream on Claire's Connects. This is Tawa, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure where you're from. But, uh, yeah, we, we did two days with it. It's on the live stream. If you go back to YouTube and go back to our content, you'll see the two days of doing the Claire's Connect stuff. But there is not dedicated training for that, uh, mostly because no one would buy it from me. <laughs> Uh, I'd have three people buy it. I don't want to dry, write a check for $20,000 and then have three people buy it, which would suck. So, yeah, um, not nah, being flipped, but, I mean, 20 people might buy it, but that's never going to uh, break even on the revenue thing. So um, so that's that part of it. I did post Nick's sample file from yesterday, um, the import dialog duplicate sample file from yesterday. We posted that. So that's three sample files for today. Um, there are some questions. Nick, are you watching the conversation here? Um, yes, so uh, we have a, a uh, we we have a, a question about uh, sometimes the auto complete is grayed out, uh, which means uh, the the indexing of the field is out. So let me show you uh, if you if I say here, uh, see this one is indexed, but let's say if I deactivate completely the index like this, uh, then the this this now is grayed out. Because uh, because the value list doesn't work uh, anymore, you know. It should grade out to do this too because the value list doesn't work anymore, you know. It cannot work. See, doesn't work because uh, the, there's no index. So I don't know why they keep that, you know, uh, showing up. Because if you do this and you say again this, uh, it will say you cannot index. It will say you cannot uh, put. I don't know. You should uh, before we had our uh, pop up, maybe the pop up menu. It will say that that you cannot. I don't know. Anyway, so you, you got a point here. You need to uh, index the the field. Uh, uh, you know to make sure that uh, the field is indexed uh, to, in order to get that to work again. Okay. Mm. Okay. Good. Yep. There you go. So welcome to indexing. Uh, question. I don't have my buzzer with me, but yesterday I was thinking about a great topic that we could talk about is uh, the set the set field by name. Uh, if you guys has difficulty to use this set field by name kind of a uh, feature here, so you 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 have the name. It's calculated. not happening unless they buzz. They have to buzz in. Yeah, they are, you have to buzz. Uh, Scott Kane is drunk. He doesn't know how to spell yeah, buzz. He's, he's there boo, he goes. Boo, Scott Kane is boo eyes. Boo eyes. I got one, two, three, four, five buzzes, and then I YouTube and the Twitch people. There are people lurking on Twitch. They just don't say much. Okay. Yeah, because the, the set field by okay. I'm using a lot of set field by name and. You know, and I, I noticed yesterday that I'm using more set field by name than set field itself, uh, and, and that's reason for that is because it's scriptable. I mean, it's parameterable. You can you can put that in parameters, uh, the, the name of the field, and uh, it's kind of a very cool. And in the same time, I'm going to explain. Uh, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to update. Let's say you have uh, ten fields, right? that you want to, uh, you have 10 fields that you want to clear. You know, you have to clear 10 fields. So what what you do, you said set field, this field with a quote, set field, quote, set field, quote, set field. See, you, that's what you do, right? You do a plenty, a bunch of set fields, okay? And uh, you have this with quotes, right? That's what you do. Hey, don't give it all uh, away, Nick. I mean, no, I, 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 I just yeah. said I just sent it to Haley to be scheduled yeah. on the schedule. It'll be some time. So how you can do that with that only? Okay. Okay. So same field, same, same So uh, I'm going to explain how to. Okay. Everything is about how how set field by name is work is working. That easy to explain, but how to apply this in real world? Okay, in real work. So, yeah, that would be interesting. Uh, uh, so, oh, so see, Oregon Dean, Oregon Dean said, "Oh, use the set field by name." The first time yesterday, got hung up 
a bit because I did, oh yeah, exact. So uh, yeah, but oh, okay, that great because, okay, look, uh, Oregon Dean has a problem with the table name and the field name. You know why? It's because you didn't, okay, I, I've, I've read your mind, Oregon Dean, because this is exactly what I'm going to uh, explain during my session. So watch it. Uh, the, this, you don't have to deal with the table name, the field name. You don't have to deal with that at all. Uh, you will see. You will love it. Uh, that's why I'm, I was sure everybody would be happy with this. All right. Ron on uh, YouTube is buzzed in. Thank you, Ron. Once again, you'll notice that you typed it, and then there's this long delay because there's that delay. Uh, for the any of you who actually want to join us on Discord and see the conversation, it's a little bit more vibrant. If it feels kind of lonely on YouTube and Twitch, um, just because, uh, but what you, but the problem is you can't lurk there, uh, very easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a, I'm going to grab the invite link here for the people. So if you want to come hang out on discord, you, the best way is just probably install the app and then dial in and then, but then the conversation <laughs> doesn't disappear, right? It doesn't disappear. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So Nick, what Scott, do you got? Scott, yeah. Scott Kane has a good, uh, good topic here. Uh, I can, I can start talking about this. So uh, you, you guys have uh, all my custom function most of the time. You know, all my file, in all my file, first thing I do, I import all my custom functions, okay? So those are my custom functions. So maybe we can take some time and, and explain some, one of the most uh, easiest one, okay? So I'm using a lot of uh, script parameters. By the way, that's another good topic, script parameters, if you want buzz, 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 buzz. Okay, so uh, get, but I, I got uh, a, a, a function um, uh, here. Uh, let's say, let's take a set field, for example. Uh, and so I got a function, a custom function that I call that get parameter value and I want the parameter one. So why is that? Is because most of the time uh, I am sending in a button, I am sending multiple parameters. Uh, uh, you know, uh, exp um, demonstration. So let's say I want show dialog, okay? And I want to show the get uh, parameter one, okay? I want the parameter one here and the parameter two here, okay? And the parameter three here, right? And the parameter, f because that, uh, I started using that technique of script parameter there. The first time in my entire life where I used the, the, the script parameter was to do that. That's why I'm using that uh, example all the time. So I want the customer's button here. You know, I want a button that is completely customizable. Uh, okay, uh, custom button, okay. Custom button. And I'm performing a script. And in this script here, I have multiple parameters. So I'm using list. So now, uh, don't tell me that you don't know what list is. I did a big, big event based on this. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm buying the list and I say, okay, hello, uh, okay, uh, 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 message, okay. Uh, then I say uh, here, uh, hello, how are you? Um, you know, uh, if you feel good, uh, type, you know, click, uh, click yes. Okay, so this is the message. Then I say, okay, yes. And I say, no. Okay. So I have, a, I have, I have my parameters. Okay, I have a, the first, I have a, the first here, the second one, three, four, okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, it's missing the here and it's missing the here. Okay, so I have my parameters. So now this is how it works. Ta -da! Okay, uh, yeah, but here I have a problem. Uh, why, maybe because I said here, one, two, three, four, okay. Uh, so, my four is one, two. Oh, because I have this guy. No way. Uh, so click thumb. 
hello how are you if you feel good click yes right mm. so message so uh in the parameter i'm sending all what i need in my custom button in my custom field. okay so normally farmaker you know uh we farmaker has one way to do that is to say uh get script parameter okay instead of saying this because get script parameter returns this okay this is what script, get script parameter returns okay so in the message that was the script parameter returns the, the script parameters return message hello yes no that all my script parameters but what i want i don't want all my script parameters here i want the get value of the get script parameters and i want the parameters number two so instead of uh, typing this get value get script parameter get 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 get, get okay uh, you know because that works that works right that works perfectly hello how are you okay everything fine but instead i say okay let's let's get a custom function get parameter and i said i want the value number two so i don't need to get i don't need to i, I don't need to say get script get value blah 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 so this is the this is a good way that's why i like the question it's a good way to start learning about uh custom function you can use um so script parameter we have i'm going to i'm going to get uh, to, to do a, a okay a hang on all right so we buzz that one in too because i already sent in the other one on set field by name yeah so i need to do this one too so yes yeah, yeah, yeah. dude we're gonna have to hire a secretary just to keep up with your shit that you pull so right. yeah but uh, you know we have good topics people are interested in it so uh so 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 you saw the point here with the guy so now i have another one uh another custom function that i love uh it's the no so the file prefix yesterday remember i, I told you this one uh the get value position ah oh, this is awesome uh this is awesome okay uh let's say uh i have a you know uh here uh the position of the get value position uh here it's a custom function and i want my get i want all my parameter okay and i want to know where the no is located no what the position of the no okay so here the uh, the position of the no okay position maybe i did a uh okay get uh position no get uh get value position uh search oh sorry it's the other is the other one around. <laughs> okay search screen i want to search no in my script parameter okay. Where is no in my script parameter? It's in position number four. Okay, so how I know that? Is it true? Yes, it's true. It's in position number one, two, three, and four. So if I if I say okay, hey, where is my uh, where is message position? You know, message. So oh, it's position number one. So you say okay, you know what? Uh, you remember here, I have a custom function, I have a, a value list here, right? I have a value list. Okay, so now let's look, see, uh, position, position, number. Okay, so here uh, I'm showing, I'm showing you what I'm doing every day, right? How I'm solving problem. I want to know, I want to know the get position, the get value position. Uh, get value position okay i want to know my account name where is in uh so the value lists i need to do i need to give a, a name of this value list because this value list doesn't have a name so a name new value so this is account okay this is a value list uh this is the name of the value list okay so i'm saying though the position is there I want to get the value position of the account name in the value list item so you start learning something new here and the value list I need to check on is the accounts okay. I want to know the position of 
where it is in the value list. So I go there and I put the position. So uh, in my value list, so let's show the, uh, let's show the pop-up is better. In my value list, this one is in position number nine. And this one is position number 10. This one is position number five. See how you can, uh, you know, how you can uh, get, solve a problem that could be very tricky, right? Uh, to get in a position where is the, you know, uh, where in the list, where is the position, right? So I need that sometimes to, to know exactly where, you know, because I want, because now I know that. So picture this, picture this, picture this. I want, I want, picture this, uh, uh, get value. And then after that, we can, we can switch topic. But that, that, I think that's valuable uh, teaching. Uh, get value, I want to get the value. So I want to get value. Look this, look this. Of, so the list of value I'm looking for is also, is my value list items uh, uh, and the name is accounts. And I want, okay, the get value and I want the value number five, right? So or I want the value position, so see? So this is how you can extract also See, let's say I have a value list. So now here I have the get value. All right, when you're so ready for say, when you're ready for a question, let me know. Yeah, so let's say I want the first value or I want the second value. I want the value number six. See? So you have both ways. You know this one is number four, number three number two, number one, or you can say, based on the value list, I want the value number six of the value list. So let's say you want to, you want, uh, you, you know what I mean, right? So you have a list of customers and you want the customer number six. How you do that, you know? So you use the value list and uh, you use the value list function to get you the list of all your customers, right? And then you can you can you can uh, get them out. So now, uh, ha have you heard Nick talk? What about this one? Uh, oh, okay. oh, can you hear me? Don't worry you about. Hey, you're, you're you're fine. Don't worry about it. It's all oh, good. Okay, okay, We're okay. basically discussing the fact that you can't speak English worth a shit. But that's fine. So it's <laughs> I, I am the official okay. interpreter here. So when we have ass yeah. focus or we have whatever other abominations and things like that. I'm here to translate for people, so that's fine. Okay, so so this is how you use, that's why I'm, I'm encourage you guys what you do sometime and say, okay, hey, you know what? Let's go to the help of FileMaker and explore all those functions. Uh, maybe you have a function that you can save your, your, your butt and, uh, you know, and you don't even know, right? Yeah. And the, the, the one, one that I'm using a lot is this one because uh, you know, it's the get, it's the value list item, you know, the value list item, value list item here, uh, like I said often, you know, if, if this function was a physical button on the Mac keyboard, uh, uh, the, 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 the title of the keyboard, you know, the, the letter of the keyboard will be faded out, <laughs> will be, fed, will be faded out because I, I'm pressing, you know, when you press too much, the pen is, uh -oh. fed out, fed, you know. So, All right, so Pete, so Pete, yeah, so P brain Pete, thank you for that. Uh, damn, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that one. Thank you very much. You can read that one, Nick. Uh, we do have a question here from Francisco. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Well, Perhaps. Nick cannot be invited to my house. Because <laughs> the way he says pop-up makes my wife weak in the knees. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're a bad man, Nick. Hey, so Francisco has a question. When you use import, can you import a specific number of records or do you? Okay, is it possible? Okay, so would you like to know the answer to that one? I can actually answer that question, Francisco. So okay. it's, uh, it's basically, 
um, if if you have a if you have FileMaker file A and you're going to import from FileMaker file B and that file is closed, it will when it opens the the file to import the source file, it's closed before you run the import command, and you open it as part of the import command, you're going to import all the records. If file the source file is already open in memory on your copy of FileMaker Pro, then you run the import, it will import the current found set. Makes sense? So that's how you control it. You'd have to have it pre-open, yeah. you have a found set set, then you do the import. So that's kind of like yeah. one of those little tricks, and that changed over the years, but there, that's a good one for you. Yeah, the, and that's the reason, that, that's good, that's a way, but that's why I'm using another technique to make sure, to make sure that I'm not doing some, something stupid, or to make sure that FileMaker is not playing tricks on me. Because sometimes, you know, FileMaker is playing tricks. <laughs> That's why all the time I'm exporting what I want to import. That means I don't do from one table to another table. Or, you know, even though you are in another file, let's say you have a file, you say, okay, go to that file, ex you export the data, and then you go to the other file and you import the data. The, 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 the export import process, um, uh, unless you have photos, unless you have uh, billions of records and stuff like that. But if you, let's say you have a reasonable amount of, 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 uh, of records, which is most of the time my case when I use that technique. I'm exporting, uh, I'm exporting the file and I'm re-importing. Most of the time, something you need to know, that all my export import technique, duplication, replication, triplication, whatever I'm doing here, I am performing that on PSOS. You know, I'm doing that on server. So the export process will take two seconds and the import process will take two seconds it is worth it to use that technique to make sure, uh, like you said, uh, Rick, uh, there's multiple behavior here. From one file to, a, to the, from, from the same file, you need to make sure to go to the table and ensure that you have the found set. And you, make, and you need to make sure you don't close the context. You know what, you know what I'm talking Pimp about, Pimp sauce? Right? Yeah. Uh, what's up? What's up? Uh, Pimp sauce. Yeah, Pimp sauce. Yeah, Pimp sauce. P sauce. P sauce. <laughs> Pimp he sauce. Says, I'm writing says. that one down. I am writing that one down. I'm writing that. No, it's pimp sauce. I love pimp, pimp sauce. sauce. That sounds like I gotta. I think I gotta. That's a domain name I have to register. Pimpsauce.com. <laughs> Shit. Uh, is it? Uh, is it not existing? I, I doubt it. I bet I could register it right now. Probably one of you guys will go get it for me. That's fine. Pimpsauce.com. Pimp sauce. You know, I don't. No, 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 no. I'm gonna hide your screen before you go there. We can't have that. No, you, you, don't, you don't. You don't go. You can. You can see. You, you can see. Mention. Can't see anything. Pimp. Pimp. P i p i m p s a u c e dot com. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is. Uh, it is for sale. Ah. Oh, for sale. Twenty three hundred dollars. Oh. <laughs> damn. Damn, dog. Oh, <laughs> damn it, Nick. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was that's the funniest thing that's happened since Ass Focus. We have Ass Focus and Pimp Sauce. Uh, oh man! So twenty twenty four hundred dollar and Ass Focus. Yeah, I don't want to show the screen. Though. No, you don't want to show the screen, Nick. We no, have, we can't be showing. Can't, can't, you know, I can't. I can't. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Oh I can't show. I can't show the. the I, I can't do that. <laughs> Nick, stop! You got there's a mixed group of people here. All right. So oh, anyway, yeah. so start. Well, okay, we have. Okay. Start a it's GoFundMe, Sunday. Jake Sheely. Yeah, it's Friday. Well, it is the end of the hour, so um, I didn't get any adult beverages. We didn't get our drumsticks out, so we're beating on stuff. So the question is: Is do we have any other outstanding questions? We're gonna do, we're gonna give uh, any of you okay. So we're gonna figure out what uh, Ki uh, Kyle Kyle wants to try out for the broadcast team. He wants to be tryout. So we're gonna have tryouts for him. We're gonna have him like do jumping jacks, sit ups. Has to run a quarter mile sprint right while talking about FileMaker in the microphone at the same time. So uh, we'll see if he can do that. Um, I'm not sure what Kyle was actually want to talk about. You want to do po postman, Kyle? Is that what you want to talk about? Let us know what you want to talk about. We'll figure out we can schedule it in there. 
Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm not the guy for uh, peace, uh, jazz, uh, pimp sauce. I'm very good on this, but uh, the the Jason and the the the, yeah, the, the, the the Jason and the Postman, Jason and the Postman. That would be a a, a video course, Jason and the Postman. All right, cool. Yeah. Or TV show, sitcom, right? So, so there's no question, no last question before we go. No, nah, there's no questions. Everyone just is happy it's Friday and they get the hell out of the office. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, uh, all right, everyone, appreciate it. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week is going to be server right up the rear end. So it'll be so much server, you'll be vomiting server. But that's okay. That's what we're here to. And we'll also, along the way, we'll talk about some things. We'll educate about some things, and we'll also put them in perspective as what's important and what's not important. We're going to bring Nick along for adult supervision because me and Jacob Taylor will start riffing. Um, it would be great. And then we need the Kyle, uh, Jason, and Jason and the Postman, courtesy of Kyle, maybe. Kyle, what did Kyle say? Laughing at Postman is a useful tool, right? So, yeah. All right, cool. Well, we'll have to kick that one around, see if we can do that sometime. Um, all right, thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, if you have upcoming qu uh, questions about uh, what we're doing or you want to add a suggestion or you're really offended, I'm offended. I've had people do that. I'm offended by pimp sauce. Then send your complaints to... Uh, support at RC Consulting. Send your complaints there. That way we can uh, properly we, file we, them. Yeah, we can refund the people. We can refund all the huge investment for today. Get right. a big check of zero dollar. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. the quarterback great read good patience more importantly great job up front protecting this quarterback to give you a chance and that's all you can ask for oh. trying to rally down 10 925 to go here in the fourth short motion by Amendola from the left Brady takes the shot to snap stands in throws it left for Amendola reaches up and snaps a high throw and lands inside the 10 Ooh. rolling to the nine oh. slightly behind him but Danny makes the grab